Hey guys, Christina Ritchie. If you want more pars, but you're really struggling off the tee, you can't get distance. Same deal from the fairway, and you can't figure out why. You feel like you're doing everything right. Well, let's check your glutes. Are you really loading your glutes in the backswing and downswing? I find that players are not. When that happens, that restricts your rotation in the backswing, and then on the downswing, it messes with your sequence. And I'm going to show you what that means right now. That's right, so why I find players go off when they feel like they have power failure is they're not loading up their glute in the backswing and then on the downswing, same deal. So as they rotate into the downswing, they're not loading up this glute. They either stand up too soon, they move into the ball, or they just use their upper body and don't use this at all. So there's no, what I like to call, sitting into your back hip, sitting into your front hip, so your hips go deep to load up the glute. All right, so the real magic when it comes to power generation is leveraging the ground, but how do you do it? Well, you gotta load up your glutes. They are really the king in the golf swing. They give you tremendous power in the golf swing. They really help you with creating a nice rotation in the backswing. So when you sit deep into this hip, your hips are rotating, so it allows your torso to turn so you can make a nice deep turn. And then on the downswing, when you load up into this lead glute, this feeling like everything goes that way, away from the ball, creating more forward bend that gives you plenty of room to swing the club. And what it also does, it makes the downswing sequence really easy so you can get that tremendous lag and then pop off the face because you're in sequence. Where players go off is they don't load the butt. All right, they'll get to the top and they'll just kind of swing with their arms or they'll spin out their hips or they'll stand up and stand closer to the ball, not really ever loading this. All right, so you really gotta take your club and push your hip back. So you're loading up the glute, all right? And that helps you to stay in your posture as well. All right, all the best players in the world do it, and you can too. All right, so when you're doing this with the ball, you gotta overcook the feel of going deep with the hip to the point of silly, all right? You gotta rehearse this to even get a little bit in the real swing. All right, I want this hip to go, especially on the downswing, this butt to go deep for a long period of time. Try to keep it deep through the downswing. In other words, don't do a little deep and then pop out of it. That's not what you wanna do. All right, so you're gonna feel deep the entire time. For a lot of you, it's gonna feel really weird. I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, you're gonna probably, uh, you're gonna awaken the buttocks. <laughs> All right, so I like to do it with the shaft. You're gonna push your hip back. So you're going to really sit deep into the hip. You should feel it in your upper part of your glute. And then you're going to do the same thing on the downswing. The downswing is where I see players really go off. They don't get this butt to go deep enough that way. All right, they may slide toward the target or move towards the ball. All right, so you got to really go deep with the hip to get the power. And that gives you tremendous power because you're really leveraging your big muscles, your butt, and that helps you to leverage the ground. And that makes the downswing sequence really easy. You don't have to manufacture it, right? Players are manufacturing it, trying to get their arm in front, trying to get lag because they're not using this properly. And believe it or not, lag and power is a byproduct of what you're doing downstairs here during the downswing, really stabilizing and gripping the ground so you can use it as a trampoline to explode into the ball. All right, so let me know if that all makes sense. 
If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll be sure to answer in future tips.